You, Becca, can you believe we're just 13 days away from Christmas right now? You're probably out buying, doing your holiday shopping, and we've got to keep in mind. All right, just a few weeks away, the start of 2024. When we wake up January 1st, many of us will probably thinking about some ways to pay off our December credit cards and set some financial resolutions for the new year. That is where Bank of America's Lena Kornmeyer Evan steps in to help us make some better financial decision. Thanks for joining us again. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me here. Um, yes, it is that time of year. I mean, it's always that time of year. We should That's always true. be thinking about, you know, paying off our debt and managing our finances. But it's important to start thinking about the new year and what resolutions you want to tackle right yeah. so as you start thinking about goal setting keep in mind your financial health as well as your physical health right so new year new financial you everybody all right it's that time of year yes um, so first let's start with setting ourselves up for success um, this is something many of us may not have done but you really want to try to picture what financial su success looks like to you visualization helps align your subconscious to your goals you know we're hmm. talking about manifesting some financial success y'all okay um, by envisioning yourself reaching your goals you can kind of hack your mind to, to success and while we're in the spirit of new beginnings at this time of year you want to think about writing a letter to your future self to open on the day that you achieve that big goal that you've set right mm -hmm. in this letter you can list out specific goals for your future self and you can apply specifics to your goals it gives you benchmarks to strive for and it also helps hold you accountable which is really great from there you can determine how you reach your goals lay out what steps you'll assume to, to achieve those you'll um, have an oper during this you'll um, visualize the consequences of not meeting your goals you visualize your success you can imagine how you'll feel achieving your goals and while this can be painful to think about what the consequences might be it's a, it can be a strong motivator for reaching your goal. Mm, I like that. I'm a big fan of this because, you know, sometimes people just push off manifestation like it's a trend, whatever, but your perception is your reality. The more you think and you see yourself in that position or that role, it's more likely to happen. So once we have that mindset to actually achieve these goals, what do you suggest to kind of make like a, a saving simple guide to give ourselves a head start? Absolutely, you gotta speak it into the universe, yeah. right? Yeah, so a so, um, couple, couple tips. If you set a goal to save a big amount in a short period of time, there's a chance you'll fall short and risk giving up altogether. So mm -hmm. we don't wanna do that. We see this with all kinds of New Year's resolutions every year, you know, so let's, let's start small, let's make it make sense. Give yourself specific, smaller, short-term, or even seasonal goals to begin with. This gives you a psychological boost when you reach them and is something we all need to give up on, to not give up on any of our resolutions, right? So if a big ticket item is the ultimate goal, set some benchmarks along the way, mm -hmm. um, those small wins, right? So you can achieve the same effect, that same psychological boost while still taking longer to save. Smart, I like that. Okay, so any other tips to maybe take into account or consideration as we get closer to the new year? Yes, while you're out doing all your fun shopping and having those coffee drinks and listening to the holiday music, use this time now before January to see where your money is going. So review your monthly card and bank statements to categorize your expenses. That's always really helpful. and. I say this all the time, create a budget. It's the most important thing. That task could be the first benchmark as you set, that you set for yourself. So with that new updated budget, full knowledge of where your money is going, see what you can cut to make room for more saving, set up automated payments mm -hmm. every month. Don't forget to pay yourself and don't forget to keep an eye on your goals. Okay, and it's made so much easier with online banking now. I mean, it's yes. right there at your fingertips Absolutely. all the time. Absolutely, yes, use your, use your banking <laughs> apps, everybody, especially when you're out there shopping. Check all in right. on yourself. All good advice, Lena. Thank you so thank much you. for coming in. We appreciate it.